Hello, this is John from LinuxSlate.com, also known as the Car Cynic from CarCynic.com. And we have another uh, real unboxing today, actual unboxing. I have the unopened package here. And what we're unboxing today is yet another very small and compact radiation detector. Um, there's another video, you can check uh, the Car Cynic uh, YouTube channel. This is the ideal ratio. Um, radiation detector, call it a dosimeter, but as you'll see in the review it's not actually a dosimeter, it's a radiation detector. And uh, we did an unboxing video of this one back a few months ago. And uh, there is a review on the website on linuxslate.com. We will have uh, links in the text below this video um, for the reviews and the various other products that I mentioned during this unboxing. Let's get to the point. Today we have the uh, latest compact radiation detector from SOEX. And if I'm not pronouncing that company name right, I really apologize. Maybe somebody can leave a note as to the proper pronunciation. Uh, SOEX has been doing this for years. They make a couple other radiation meters. I never purchased one because they kind of never really fit the bill that I thought was important. It looks today like I've got the one here that meets uh, all of my pet peeves for radiation detectors. Um, the Radix 1 has been mentioned a few times as a very small compact um, meter. I chose uh, this one, the um, Rodnik 3, that in Russian that means Stream 3, uh, over the Radix 1 for a couple of different reasons that are mentioned in the review to that. But let's take a look at the new one and see if it's been beaten. Now, it says open on the preparations. Um, while I'm doing this, I want to mention that SOEX has an office right here in Florida, uh, down in Miami. Um, they were very good at sending me this very quickly. Uh, they shipped it, made a special effort to ship it uh, quickly to me directly from their... Um, Miami office, so and also they had a, uh, a discount for two-day air, so it basically came here overnight in, in state. Now, obviously, your results will, will vary for the uh, shipping, but uh, I appreciate the effort that they made to get this to me very promptly, and also with the discount on, on the shipping. Uh, the price is $129, seems to be what they're selling it from. I purchased it directly from the SOEX website, kind of trying to help them out a little bit, let them keep a little bit of more of their profit instead of giving it to these other companies. And, and it seems like they reciprocated. Um, as you can see, SOEX, if you're not familiar with them, is a Russian company. Like I said, they have an office in Miami, though, where they uh, distribute these things in the United States. This is the SOEX 112, and it's a very small kind of dosimeter or pen-like radiation detector. And here it is. Just a couple of the basic features uh, that I've mentioned that are important is I wanted something small. And, and you can see here on the, uh, get a good idea of, of the smallness war that's going on within uh, the, the development of these, of these devices. Um, it has to have a clear and readable LCD. I kind of think as far as LCD size and um, readability, I uh, don't know if this one's going to win. Um, my my uh, piece of uh, radioactive uh, antique cup and saucer there are uh, putting this one in, in alarm mode here as I even turn it on. But um, So definitely you can see that the Rodic 3 has a much bigger display. I hope it's coming out on the camera. It's very crisp. Uh, I'm not sure if the battery's in this. We'll pop, try to power it up. Um, one of the other things is, is it should have a full um, Geiger tube. None of these devices that I am reviewing um, are, are simply diode sensors. The diode sensors only detect gamma radiation. Definitely you want something with, a, with an actual Geiger tube. And you can see kind of in there, well actually, I actually don't know if you can see it, I can see it. But it is a full length tube. As a matter of fact, it's my understanding and kind of see the color in there. Again, I can kind of see the color in there. My understanding is that these two units have exactly the same Geiger-Muller tube inside them. 
Another important feature is, is even plastic will stop alpha and beta particles. If you want it to be sensitive to alpha beta particles, the back must be open to the tube. And you can see here that in both cases they are. Points go to SOX there for the style of the multi-sized holes. Looks kind of cool compared to the simple slots <coughs> of the ideal ratio uh, Rodnick 3. But trust me, the uh, alpha particles won't know. They'll do fine on, uh, on getting ex the tube being exposed to them. So we have a large tube to collect a lot of, um, make it very sensitive, make it very quick to detect something radioactive and exposed so that it is sensitive to alpha and beta particles. Um, one other thing, and this is one where in my research uh, we'll see, it will show this, but the SOX-112 uh, kind of does not meet one of my specifications of uh, standard batteries. This runs on two AA batteries. They're down in here. So the tube and the batteries define the size of the whole thing. This one, in order to make it this small, obviously I'm not going to fit full-size batteries in here. Um, this one has, and we'll see if they're installed and enabled here, this one has two LR, I believe they're LR44 type batteries. Yes, they are commonly available, perhaps not as common in an emergency as something like a AA, but I can't see that it would be uh, hard to get them. Uh, these batteries will also last a very long time. They rated at 100 hours on those sets of, uh, on those batteries. What else do you get? I wouldn't expect too much. It's a nice custom box. Um, okay, here you get, uh, I'm going to check this before I actually speak here, but I believe what I'm looking at is instructions in English and Russian. It looks like two different instruction books in, Rus in Russian. I do not see English. This one might be like a quick start guide, and this one being the full user manual. Again, it appears it's kind of interesting that they shipped. Ah, we do have English. Okay. It's a nice, complete manual showing you the various use, but should be pretty easy here. We'll turn it on. Okay, and it's already counting. I'm pretty sure it's seeing my Fiesta Ware cup here. And it has gone into alarm. Um, so, I can tell right off that, uh, again, the um, Rodnick 3 from Ideal Ratio is going to win in the display competition. Um, I can see it easily, but one thing is the numbers come up to the very edge of the cutout for the display. So, for example, telling a 7 for a, from a 1, I'm in good light here from the video, and uh, I'm, I'm not impressed with that. A little radiation icon there for uh, alarm mode. And it's, they both calm down here a little bit as I remove them, uh, a little bit away from the Fiesta Wear dish. Um, there are a number of settings on this. We'll cover these once I learn them in the full review. Um, one good thing that I want to point out here is one of my mate, two complaints about this one, actually. I like this very much. I gave it good ratings, and I stick by that. But um, this one contains a clock. It does not look like the SOX unit contains a clock, which is just as well if you ask me. Um, this one has a settable alarm mode, lots of settings you can do also. But this one, as I mentioned, is not actually in a dosimeter because it does not do accumulated dose. The SOX one does do not only background measurement, measuring objects, but it does do accumulated dose. More on that will be on the website. So thank you very much for watching. Um, also check out the Radiation Detectors Buyer's Guide. I wrote that quite a long time ago, but it applies to all of these devices. And um, we will have the review up on the linuxslate.com uh, website. It will be linked to from the homepage of the SOX 112 
check for it, uh, give me a few weeks. And thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.